Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. In this episode, I am going to wrap up my coverage of reading assembly language by taking a little bit of a dip into reading ARM assembly language, which I have never tried to do before. So this is going to be a journey with both of us and let's see what we find. So we left off here from last week of multiplying 10 times argc plus five. And I'm gonna turn off the binary output for the moment. And we can see that the compiler was able to do some crazy optimizations in its ability to use this LEA instruction to do a bunch of math that would otherwise have needed to take a lot of work. Let's dial down the optimizations a little bit. And it's interesting, even at L0, it is still using the LEA instruction to do some of this math for us. So using the Compiler Explorer, we're going to add in another compiler, and we will have the zoom about the same, and this is GCC 6.2. Uh, Let's scroll back. If you've never noticed, the Compiler Explorer has many, many options. Let's see how new of a version of ARM GCC we can get. But we're doing very simple stuff, so it shouldn't matter a lot. Let's do this, ARM64 4.8. And we're going to keep it simple again to start with. We're going to return the value 5 from our main. And this should be doing more work on the x86 side. There we go. Okay, got a little out of sync. So, like I said in the intro, I've never tried to look at ARM assembly, so here we are. Let's see what we can find. It would appear that it is doing its stack management here by subtracting the value 16 from the stack pointer, I'm guessing, and then doing some, let's see, str, w0 and x1 as the two main registers it seems to be using for general use. We can see here that it's moving 5 into the W0 register, so that must be the register that is used for return values in the ARM. And if we add some optimizations, that does seem to be what's happening. Now let's add in argc and see if we can learn what register is being used for the argc parameter. So it appears that W0 is being used for the argc value, and it is being used for the return value. So we don't have a choice here with what assembly language syntax we use with the ARM output. But it would seem that the ARM is able to have in a single instruction the ability to add 5 and W0 into W0 together. Let's start to make this a little bit more complicated. So it's doing a left shift of one bit to do the multiply by two. That makes sense. And on the Intel side, it is just automatically going straight away to its indexed memory instructions. Let's make this a times three so that we can't do a left shift. Ah, here we go. So now we're seeing that the ARM assembly does allow things for adding many different values together. So it is adding, it is left shifting W0 by one and adding that with W0 into W0, then adding the value five in. So that's how we're getting our multiply three. And here we're seeing we're doing a multiply two plus this. It seems to be similar kind of notions. And if we amp up our optimization level, does anything change? No. So there you go. I know absolutely nothing about ARM assembly, and you just followed me along to see what we could learn. And it looks like it does have some fairly complex things that it can do. Unfortunately, the Compiler Explorer, we can't enable binary output. But since we're here and we have this example up, let's take it one step further and show that we can also add in AVR assembly. And that's interesting because it is a common microcontroller. So AVR, GCC 5.4.3. Oh. 
we're getting a whole lot more going on in here. It seems to be a quite a bit more simple CPU that it's not able to do these kinds of fancy adds and multiplies all in one step. We, well, I'm pretty much lost here. I see a left shift of the R18, so that's probably, possibly this multiply by two trick, but I don't know why there's a rotate left and then adds, who knows what's going on. We have one less option we can play with, and that is MIPS, let's go with MIPS 64 GCC. So it appears on MIPS now that our registers aren't named, now they're just numbers. So we've got $4, $2, so perhaps our argc is coming in on $4. Let's just do return argc. So it would appear that $4 is where our argc value comes in. And then that is being moved into dollar two, and that must be how the value is returned from the main function call. All right, uh, that's maybe we learned something here, maybe we didn't, but thanks for following me on this definitely random episode of C Weekly. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.